All right, so we have the Xavier Pro 870, the Stratocaster style guitar. This one is in surf green. What you're seeing on screen right now is part of the unboxing video, which I'll link in the corner if you wanna see the full unboxing video with the tones completely out of the box. It's pretty basic looking, you know what I'm saying? I wanted the maple neck, I wanted the surf green body, but I also knew that I wanted to modify it and I knew what I wanted to do to it. I wanted to kind of give it a semi, some some little like black accents to it not really reproduce the tom DeLong because by no means does it look like that but have it so it kind of can play that rock punk rock more but i kind of like a dual personality by going dual humbucker and i did something pretty unique so we're going to jump into what the guitar looks like right now and we're going to break down all the parts that i put on it which most of them if not all were also purchased through guitar fetish with their quick plug system let's jump into that all right, so here it is. I went outside, so hopefully we can get some good visuals with the sunlight and everything. This is basically complete. There were still some things I wanted to do that I didn't do. For example, the bridge is still the factory bridge from Xavier. It's that chrome color instead of black. I was thinking of blacking it out, you know, swapping it, which I didn't. I also had block, black block inlays that I wanted to use that I didn't do yet. So what we got going on here Obviously you can tell I swapped out that white pickguard for this dual humbucker black pickguard. I think this was also from Guitar Fetish, I kind of forget. Now when it comes to the pickups, Guitar Fetish makes both a what's called big mouth and loud mouth. They both aesthetically are basically identical, except the loud mouth are even hotter of a set. Both the neck and the bridge is an even hotter set. So what I did was I went with the loud mouth on the bridge with their bridge version which is the hottest one 14.5 K and then for the neck position I went with their big mouth and I went with their neck one which is the lowest output which is only 8 K so we have 14.5 K at the bridge 8 K at the neck massive difference I've never modified a guitar like this but I kind of wanted something that can play those like harsh rock metal ish esque punk tones at the bridge but not only do that swap over to the neck and get some more warm creamy tones and it does just that in a little bit we're gonna go into the tones both clean dirty distorted all that stuff i'm no professional by any means i'm kind of learning as i go but hopefully you guys can get a feel for it see you know hear how it sounds i think aesthetically it looks amazing both with the black pick guard the black the pickups are black and there is some chrome so that's why i kept the chrome bridge because we do have some chrome around the pickups we have those obviously huge pull pieces which are silver i couldn't find black string trees so those i went with chrome because i had them on hand and i did do black locking tuners those are also from guitar fetish so in total we got the black pick guard also the black output jack that might have I forget if I bought that or might have been off of another guitar I had. Black pickguard, black output jack. The three-way selector switch is part of the wiring harness that I got from Guitar Fetish. It's a pre-wired wiring harness. I think they call it, um, I'll put it on screens. I forget the number off the top of my head, like the product number, but it's meant for dual humbucker, one volume, one tone, that Strat Ibanez style with the three-way selector switch. What else we got here? I just think it looks awesome. That surf green body with the black pickguard, that maple neck, the black dot inlays, which I might put black block inlays on it. We also got these black strap. Why am I losing my train of thought? It's not strap locks, strap buttons, whatever the word is. Those I got on Amazon. I'll link them below because I actually bought multiple and these were the best. They just looked aesthetically pleasing. They didn't have like that really cheap, cheap look to them. And they weren't crazy expensive either. I forget the brand off the top of my head, but I'll have that listed below. So we got the black lock. We're going to work our way top to bottom real quick. We got the black lock and tuners. We got the two string trees or whatever you call the roller trees, which are chrome looking. We have black strings, they're from DR. I had this on an older electric guitar. So when I built this, I was like, you know what? We're not built it, modified it. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go with black strings. I think it's gonna really pop really nicely. And it really does, it looks really cool. These are black DR strings, they're coated. We have, like I said, those black strap pins, buttons, whatever. 
the black pick guard, the pickups, loudmouth and big mouth, with the neck being the big mouth pickup at 8k and the bridge being the loudmouth pickup at 14.5k. What else we got here? Um, the knobs, again, from Amazon. I'll link them below if you're interested. And that's it. I think aesthetically, this thing looks freaking awesome. Comparing it from what it looks like out the box, beautiful. It's all, you know, personal preference, but this is exactly what I wanted from it. Now, how does it play? Before we get into the tones, I don't have the guitar right now. As I'm holding it, I'm just kind of talking and showing you guys some video clips. I, It's a chunky neck. You know, compared to some, like, you know, I have a Yamaha Pacifica, which is kind of like Strat style, much, much thinner neck. I would prefer something thinner. It's not massive, but it's definitely a more chunky neck. The radius, I haven't measured it. Maybe I will and put it on screen, but regardless, it definitely feels more flat than a lot of the other Strat style guitars. It's definitely heavier, too, compared to, like, my Squire Strat, the Yamaha Pacifica, my Harley Benton Strat style. This thing has some heft to it. Forget what it's made out of. Actually, let's take a peek. I think I have it open over here. So Guitar Fetish puts this with the neck being a satin finish solid maple. This one with a maple um, fingerboard with, they say, a graphite nut. Radius is 12 inches, so there you go. It's got 22 medium jumbo. They're definitely on the smaller side. I would just straight up call them medium. I don't know. I've had jumbo and other ones. These are definitely on the smaller side. And then some other little specs, which maybe I'll just put on screen if you care to view more. But other than that, I think I'm gonna stop this now and we're just gonna jump into the tones. Again, I think this thing looks great. I love the surf green with the black and the maple. Drop a comment. Let me know what you guys think about this. Being what I would say more, like I built this to kind of be able to, uh, I say the Tom DeLong Strat because it is surf green, although it doesn't have the perloid pick card. Completely different. But I'm getting some Blink-182 vibes over here. I know Blink is coming out with some stuff soon. I've been a huge fan since I've been younger. So I'm probably going to play some Blink stuff, uh, Distorted, and then we will just play some other random stuff in general. Subscribe if you're interested in more content. I have some other guitars that I'm going to be in the process of either building or modifying. I have some kick guitars from Harley Benton, and then I have some other guitars where I'm looking to modify like this, where they're just kind of more budget-friendly options that I just upgraded. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Let's get into the tones. All right, so we're going to get into the tones. I got my headphones on, so it's like hard to even hear myself talk right now. But I got this plugged into GarageBand. When I'm playing, I'm going to shut off, cut the audio from the uh, iPhone right now. And you're going to hear just the audio through GarageBand. But I'll maybe talk a little bit in between. If not, hopefully you guys can visually see or I'll put on screen if I'm in the um, bridge, middle, or neck. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention before is this is a coil split as well. So we're going to have a lot of tones to listen to. We're going to do some dirty tones First, because like I said, I'm getting some Blink-182 vibes from this already. So let's jump into it. All right, so we're gonna start off in the bridge position, full humbucker mode. <laughs> difference yeah definitely between the bridge and the neck you can hear that massive difference <laughs>
definitely in the neck position it doesn't it gets kind of muddy when you're playing chords that's where it just sounds a lot better when you're doing single notes i think so at least <laughs> some clean tones if I can get this to work we'll start again um, bridge clean <laughs> Sounds like it's kind of breaking up a little bit when it's clean. Might just be uh, strumming a little too hard. I'm going to have to turn the volume down a little bit, but we'll just keep it going for now. Mm -hmm. 